Okay, um, hello everybody, uh, it's MicroBuddy5, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server, finally, which is what you want, right? Okay, so this isn't a craft bucket server, this is just a regular, you know, Minecraft server, you're not going to get a ton of commands and stuff like that, if you want, if you want all those, uh, I will be posting another video, um, yeah, I should have another video about it, but, um, yeah, for, for now, uh, right now you go to the Minecraft website, as you see, and under Play Minecraft, you click Download, and under Multiplayer Server, you, whoa, whoops, okay, you click, uh, Download Server.exe, now it'll just save it in your, yeah, it'll, so, first of all, what you're gonna wanna do is make a folder. Just make a folder. I recommend you do this instead of just pasting the files somewhere on your desktop because it's gonna get messy. So rename your folder to um, MC server. Sorry, I'm using one hand. Um, okay, so once you've named it that, or actually it doesn't matter what you name it. Um, yeah. So, uh, you can save your file into the folder, and there's, there's that, um, you click that and run that, and then it starts up your server, but, uh, yeah, your default world is named world, so that's what you're gonna stick with if you're starting off fresh. If you already have a map that you want to use for the server, you delete this and you paste your files right here. Uh, let's let's close that. It takes a while to close because I'm using software and stuff. But uh, yeah, once that's closed. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you some of these things now. Under band IPs, this is where you... This is a notepad file where you enter the IP address of someone who will get banned from your server. Under banned players, uh, same thing, you enter your username and it bans them. Uh, okay, under OPs, you want to type in your username and anybody else's who you want to, you know, be a part of your server and be able to control it and access a lot more things. So. Uh, this is the properties file. Uh, level name, you want to change it. Well, don't change it unless you unless you pasted a different world. Uh, this is this is the name that you want your world to be called. So right now we're just using world. Um, if you have a different one, you type it in right here and paste the files here. Um, uh, flat. I'm gonna. This is kind of a free build server, like. This is where you can kind of build your own city. Um, this is, yeah, I'm going to allow people to fly around and stuff. It'll make it easier for people to build. But if your server is not that kind of server, you can disable that by typing in false. Uh, server port number must be 25565. Anything else won't work, even if it's something that works on a different server, because Minecraft servers like this only work with that port number. So leave it the same it is. Uh, okay, um, this is a seed, I don't know exactly what those do yet, but, uh, there's no need to change that. Server IP, leave the same, this is the maximum building height, um, yeah, okay, the whitelist, now, change that to true if you want to use this whitelist file here. Enter as many usernames as you possibly can if you want to use this. You don't have to do this, but if you enable whitelist, so here's what the whitelist does. You enter, just simply enter usernames, whoops, I spelled that wrong, but you, you enter usernames and all the people who want to join the server. So let's say, like, I don't even know, but just enter all the people that you trust and this is pretty, this is good for like YouTube videos like this because my server is not that kind of server where a bunch of people can you know join whenever they want, but um, mine is kind of one of those you know peaceful servers where a couple people come on and they build 
and you know there's no griefers or anything so that's kind of helpful so whitelist is actually really helpful for me uh, I'm not going to use it for this but change that to true if you want to use the whiteness whitelist um, uh, spawn animals you you pretty much should know most of these if you don't then I'm sorry but you can leave them the way they are if you just want the default settings um, now PvP I like to leave that at true even though for my kind of server it's not really that um, important but yeah maximum players I'm gonna change that down to like seven because that's 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 what my server has I already have my own uh, craft bucket server but this is just a regular server to get you started I'll show you how to make a craft bucket server in a different video uh, spawn monsters I'm gonna change that to false and this is the message that displays under your server so uh, you save those if you're happy with them uh, then you start your server again and it is ready to go your settings are ready and you will be starting off as a regular world you will spawn in a different place actually you'll spawn somewhere randomly unless you paste your pasted your old file so I'm gonna close that if it closes which it won't maybe I don't know okay so once you've done that, now you need to do, here comes the tricky part, you're going to have to forward the port, the 25565 number. Now, this is tricky because I'm, I'm not going to do it the same way you will. There's so many different ways to do it, you can't, there's only a certain way that you have to do it. I mean, okay, I, I can't, I can't make this as easy as it is, but, um, it's actually kind of easy to do, but, it's hard to explain. So go on this website. It's just simply called port for, portforward.com. I'll put a link in the description. But uh, yeah, here is a list full of routers and modem uh, model numbers. So like you could be using a Linksys. I'm using a Netgear. You could be using Linksys, Belkin, or any of these brands you see here. Uh, so. I want to scroll down to Netgear because that's the kind I'm using. Uh, I'm using the WNR 1000 V2. Um, yeah, so uh, you skip the advertisement. Okay. Um, yeah, so now it shows. Oh my gosh, let it load. Okay, so here, okay, here's your IP address right here. It shows um, that's this is the IP address you will be using to connect to your server. My server has a whitelist, and you won't be able to do it, so there's no point. Um, under here, you're gonna scroll down to M. Okay, so then you click um, Minecraft server, which is right here. Yeah, and this is this is the important part. Uh, okay, right here, you're gonna want to enter your IPv4 address, which is if you want to find that, you go to CMD and type in IP config, just like that. And okay, so uh, your IPv4 address is um, usually yours might look the same as mine. Most of the time, it looks different, but I. Uh, yeah, you want to enter the last digits, so close that. You should all know that. Um, yeah, just follow these directions. I'm not going to show you because this is this is my router. Yours is different, most likely. Um, if we're using the same kind, then great. But oh, and one more thing, you want to make your uh, IP address static, so you don't have to keep uh, changing it because if your IP address isn't static it will keep changing and you will have to keep informing the other players what your new IP address is and that's annoying so uh, make it static so it stays the same all the time and this is also a port uh, forward check tool uh, you type in two whoops now mine's already being used but um it should say 
like a green flag. I'm having a red flag because I'm already using a server on that port. My port forward number is already taken, so yeah. But uh, that's how you make a Minecraft server. If you have any questions, please leave comments down in the comment section down below. And I will hope to see you again later. Thanks for watching.